you want to save a dollar per pound on your steaks? I'm going to show you how to take this full ribeye roast and break it down in steaks, ribeye caps, and some stew meat. Welcome back to Spaceman Test Kitchen. Today we're going to be breaking down this whole ribeye roast we bought at Costco. This might seem a little overwhelming at first, but stick with me. I'm going to show you just how easy it is. For equipment, you'll need a large cutting board, and then I like to use two knives. I like to use this butcher knife from the Spaceman Knife Center Stellar series. And I like to use this boning knife from the Galaxy series. This one's great for cutting the steaks. This one's great for the detail work. We're going to start by removing the spinalis. You can see this little separation in the meat right here. I like to get in there with my fingers. That way you don't cut this too deep. You can see it just peels away. When you hit the tougher parts, you can use your boning knife to just trim away that fat, being careful not to cut into the meat. This is truly one of the best cuts of meat on the entire cow. Once you get it down this far, you can see where that seam is right there. It should look something like this when you're all done. See all these little loose pieces of fat here? You want to trim this stuff off. You want to get the silver skin off. All of this right here is just fat. So we're just going to take all of that off right there. We're going to trim the rest of this up. For the silver skin, you want to find a spot where you can just get right under it. And then just hold tension and glide your knife right underneath it, like so. Removing the silver skin is going to give you just a nice, easy to eat piece of meat. Silver skin tends to be tough, you don't want to eat that. A butcher that does this every day is probably going to make that look a little prettier than I did, but guess what? It still tastes the same. This is looking pretty good, so we're going to flip it over and we're going to trim up some of this fat on the other side as well. You can do a few different things with the spinalis. You can actually cook it whole. Some people cut it in half to make it two steaks. We're actually going to roll it and cut it in two steaks, but we'll do that in just a minute after we're done with the rest of this. We're also going to remove this little complexus muscle right here. We're going to get just right in there with our fingers. Get as much of that fat torn away with our fingers as we can. It should come to about right there. We'll just take it off like that. Next up, we're going to remove this tail piece right here. You'll need your boning knife for this part. It's stuck a little bit better. Being careful not to cut into those rib fillets. So you want to get it as spread apart as you can, like so. And then you're just going to cut right along here, just like that. Now there's still some good meat in here. You can see there's some good rib meat attached to these still. So we're going to trim off that fat and we'll use that meat. I don't mind a little bit of fat on my steaks. We're not going to get too aggressive with trimming this up, but you got these little dangly pieces. We're going to just clean some of that up just for appearance sake before we slice these down into ribeye fillets. This is the fun part. This is where you get to use the big knife. So we want these cut in about one inch steaks. So we're going to just start right here. Just a nice even motion in and out. Gives you a nice steak like that. Get those little pieces there. You can just trim those off like that. Just wanted to use a nice even motion like that. So take the trimmings and cut them into about one inch pieces. You can use this in stew or chili. Use some butcher's twine to tie up the spinalis that we rolled up earlier. You can see we have the spinalis all trussed up here and now we're going to cut it into steaks. Just use a nice smooth motion to cut between the string. These are going to be some of the best steaks you've ever eaten. When you're done you'll have several steaks and some stew meat and these ribeye steaks will be out of this world. If you have any unique tips and tricks for breaking down primals like this, let us know in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more content like this, and we will see you next time at Spaceman Test Kitchen.